Hello and welcome to my new video. So today video is about the GNS3 and how you can connect your local network to the GNS3 application. So uh, I have seen a lot of people struggling out there. They have done a very beautiful uh, simulation and they have done a very good network flow on the GNS3. But in the end, they are having a hard time and they are not able to connect the GNS3 lab with their real network. Uh, maybe they want to do the OSPF simulation or maybe they just want to do some trunking, some voice over anything. It can be anything. You, maybe you want to connect the other laptop on the network with, the, with your GNS3 simulation. So today video is all about how you can connect the GNS3 lab to your real network. So what I'm going to take you, I'm going to take you through the, the important part of it. And uh, I assume from now on that you have your GNS3 installed. But other than GNS3, you need two major components which should be installed and one should be downloaded as well so first thing first you need to go to the gns3.com in order to download the gns3 if you don't know how to download it's pretty straightforward you can google it or you can search on the youtube you will see ton of the ton videos about how to install the gns3 okay and i'm using uh, the latest one for this video okay the other thing the very important component which we need is VirtualBox. It does work with the VMware, but for my personal references, I like the VirtualBox. It's pretty light on my on my local PC, and it does not consume much resources from my laptop. All right. The the third important component what we need is the VirtualBox uh, ready OVF file, which we will use in our virtual box uh, virtual machine software okay which i will take you through how you can import or how you can use this downloaded ovf file it should be in the ovf format okay and how we gonna use inside the virtual machine all right so first thing first please install the gns3 please install the virtual machine for me, my virtual machine is ready and I have already imported the, the this software, which is the OVF file. So how you can do that, let me just show you quickly. I'm not gonna install the GNS3 because you should have this installed and ready, okay? So how do you import this VMware, OVF file, sorry? You go to the file, you go to I'm in the virtual box manager. You go to file, you click on import, you click on this search directory, you go to download folders, and you should have this file called gns3vm.ovf file. So remember, it should be the OVF file. All right, for me, I have already done that. You go here, okay. So remember when you first import this file you will only find two network adapters and rest of the resources are predefined you don't need to worry about it but only concern here or only part you need to look at is this the network part as you can see the first ethernet which is technically ethernet zero is a virtual uh, sorry the host only adapter i will show you where to con configure this and the second one is that which is not really required but it comes predefined so i'm not gonna touch that and nothing else okay so before we jump into the network configuration i just want to take you the host network manager if it is not there you click create let it be any ip you want and enable the dhcp all right that's it you apply close it nothing else now we go to the settings of the vm okay you go to the network as i said by default it has adapter one adapter two what we need is we need to enable the adapter three okay which gonna be technically as a ethernet two it's zero one and two 
All right. In this one, we, we need to click on the, first we need to enable it and we need to select bridge adapter. And the, in the name, we need to select your ethernet card, your local PC ethernet card. Please do not select the wireless, it's not gonna work. And you will suffer a lot of finding, tuning your configuration, okay? And the second most important in this, in this area is, you click on advanced, click on the premises mode and it should be allow all if it in in the by default it's deny but you need to select all and if it is in deny mode there will be no packet either transmit or receive it will not gonna work okay so you need to make sure your third adapter is connected and the premises mode is always on all right now our virtual machine is imported. We have configured the network card. We have looked, looked over all the information. Everything is good. Now we need to jump to our GNS3 where the most uh, part we're gonna play. All right. So once you launch the GNS3, so I have my virtual machine here. I have the GNS3. So you need to wait till it starts connecting to your local port. All right. So it is asking you to create a new uh, project. We will do that later. Just close cancel first. Now, you have the virtual machine, you have the GNS3. How they gonna communicate to each other, how they gonna link with each other. It's very simple. All you need to do is you need to go to edit, go to preferences, preferences, and then first you need to Enable the GNS3, enable the VM because uh, it was already connected, so it was just looking at this one. And it's going to ask you what sort of engine, virtualization engine you're going to use. So, in my case, I, I'm saying it's VirtualBox. Okay. And once you'll come over here, you will refresh, it will start refreshing and looking what are the virtual machines ready in your VirtualBox. In my case, my VM name is GNS3 VM, so I need to make sure GNS3 VM is selected. Okay, that's it, and nothing much. These are the default configuration. You just apply. And one more thing, what we need to do is, uh, maybe it's trying to launch. Yeah, I'm just gonna close this right now. As you can see, it's trying to launch because we have linked the GNS3 uh, with the with the with the virtual machine, okay, and uh, it will start come, keep coming up. I don't know why. Let me just close and launch again. Otherwise, it will keep coming up. Genus three. Okay. Let's wait till it comes up. And it may try to launch the virtual machine again. That's okay. You don't need to worry about it. Let it let it be there. That's okay if it is coming up. Let me wait. Yeah, it's trying to launch it because now it has a control to this virtual machine. That's fine. That's okay. Don't worry about it. One more thing. What we need to do is you go to the preferences and you go to cloud nodes. Okay. Now we're gonna add this virtual machine as a cloud in our in our uh, equipment list. Okay, you click on the or the entity list. You click on new. I need to run the cloud node on the GNS3 VM which we added inside the GNS3 VM. Click on next. Just name it GNS3 or virtual box VB. Finish. That's it, apply, click OK. Now, your virtual machine is coming up. It's gonna take a little bit time, depending on your PC resources or PC. Now, it has taken an IP, and this is 192.168. Okay, yeah, so 192.168.56.103. From where he got the IP, 
as I said before, we configure the Ethernet 0 host only adapter, which is configured in the host network manager. It has an DHCP enable and it will take after 101. Okay, so because it has the host only adapter Ethernet 0, that is why it's showing the IP from that pool. All right, nothing much to do over here. Now we'll go back. You can see. It is showing our GNS3 virtual machine is running and the GNS is connected with the local host. Now, let's create something inside the GNS3. So in, for me, I'm going to make a new project called uh, project. Let's say GNS3 lab. Click OK. For me, I have only one Cisco router. OK. And if you don't know how to add the Cisco router or any or any router you want to add, please look into the YouTube. There are a lot of videos who will show you how you can add your own Cisco iOS image to work on the GNS3. All right. Now let's just start the router. Just make your screen. It's running. Double click on it. It was already launched, so I'll just click on reconnect. It should be ready within two, three seconds. If not, it should be fine. Yep, it's coming up. Okay. So I have one network card only and it has two ports, which is FOSS Ethernet 0, FOSS Ethernet 0 slash 1. In our case, we're going to use the FOSS Ethernet 0 slash 0. So let's quickly configure our Cisco router interface. Uh, Interface was zero slash zero. IP address one nine two dot one six three eight dot one dot nine nine. Okay, so one more thing is my my PC IP is uh, my my LAN network is one nine two dot one six three eight dot one dot X. Okay, so this is one of the free IPs. I'm going to use it for my router. And I'll say no shutdown, and I should I should see the uh, the, the link is, oh sorry, the interface is up. Okay, so we have an IP configured on the switch. Now, for example, I want this PC to connect to my network. So I'll just quickly do IP config. Okay, so my because I have so many virtual network cards, so that is why it is kind of messy. So it should be 192.168.1.40. Okay, this is my Ethernet card, Ethernet adapter. This is 1.40. Oh, sorry, this is a 1, 1 1.25 because this is again the one of the virtual card. So this is my IP 1.25. All right. Now, how I'm going to do that? I'll go to this browser all devices. And remember, I add a node as a cloud, GNS3 VB, my virtual box. And I'll connect to a router to this Ethernet 2. Why Ethernet 2? Again, VirtualBox counts the Ethernet from 0, 1, and 2. And what is my Ethernet 2? It's my bridge network, which is connecting to my real physical uh, uh, card of my laptop. All right. So you need to make sure you connect to the real adapter. Otherwise, you won't be able to ping or you will not have any success. All right. Now, it's all good. and uh, one more thing I, I, I want to mention here is you need to make sure your your PC, your local uh, laptop firewall is purely off. It's totally off. Otherwise, you won't have any sort of communication from GNS3 to your local network. Now, going back to the router. Now, since we have the connectivity, I need to... I want to ping my laptop, for example, 192.168.1.25, I think. 
and I should be able to ping. Yes, I can ping. Now I want to ping my my gateway, which is 192.160.1.1. I should be able to ping my gateway. Yes, very good. Now, if I want to ping the, the any external IP, let's say IP default, let me just configure the gateway IP 192.168.1.1. Okay, now I'm going to ping, let's say, the DNS IP one. I should be able to ping if I'm not mistaken. Hold on. Hmm. Very strange. It's taken very well. Yeah. It's kind of strange that why I'm not able to bring the DNS. Maybe it's Walking somewhere, no, it's not. I can try again on my 192.168.101. That's going through. It should ping. It should why it is not pinging. No, it's not pinging. Oh, I pay. Oh, okay. I pay route. Okay, so I need to check it out, but still I'm going to try that. 192.168.1.1 to show IP route. Let's try again. Oops. It's working as you can see now uh, even from the GNS3 I have a reachability to the outer world so I should be able to ping any public IP any local IP from this GNS3 all right so I hope you you like the video you have enjoyed the video and if there is anything, you can still contact me from the comments. Uh, I would be happy to help you out, guys, if you are still struggling or you still have an issue. All right. So please like and subscribe my channel and share this video as much as you can. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video.